Hello dear students, today we are going to study about a very interesting poem about the world. The name of the poem is Great, White, Beautiful and Wonderful. Now in this poem you see a little girl who is describing the world. She tells us how does she see the world from her eyes. According to her, what is the earth? And she is even scared of the earth. So what makes her scared and what surprises her? Let's see the chapter explanation. Great, wide, beautiful, wonderful world. Now the girl is making world a beautiful place. She used four words for the world. The world is great. The world is wide. The world is beautiful and wonderful. She is amazed by the beauty of the world. When she sees around herself, she is just shocked because the world is such an amazing place. With the wonderful water round you curled, she then sees that there is a lot of water which is surrounded by the earth. She says that the earth has a major portion of the earth of the, of the water. There is a lot of water on the earth's surface. The earth is surrounded by water. And the wonderful grass upon your breast. She then says that earth on your chest. What do you have? You have wonderful grass. Now grass is on the land. So according to the girl, the land is the breast of the earth. So she's saying that there is a lot of grass on your chest. And world, you are beautifully dressed. Now she's saying you have water around you. You have beautiful trees around you. Your chest is decorated with the grass. So you're beautifully dressed. She's imagining the earth and the world to be beautifully dressed. The wonderful air is over me. Now she has seen the water. Now she's talking in this stanza. She's talking about the air. She says that the wonderful air is over me. Air is something that is present all around, over, above, below, anywhere, everywhere. And the wonderful wind is shaking the tree. Now she's talking about the wind. Now the wind is so wonderful that because of the wind, the leaves of the tree are moving, shaking and it's a beautiful scene. It walks on the water and whirls the mills. She says that it is because of the air that the mills are moving rapidly and talks to itself on the top of the hills. And then she says, when you will, even, even if you will go to the hill area, you will find a lot of fresh air and pure air. So she's just imagining the air to be on the hill and talking to itself. It simply means that there is a lot of air on the hill, the air is enjoying and talking to itself. You friendly earth, how far do you go? Now in the third stanza she asks, you friendly earth, how long are you? Suppose if she starts traveling, she wants to find the exact distance. How long do you go? We all know that earth is an oval shape. But how long? What is the length? She's asking the earth. She's calling earth as friendly. And then she's asking, how far will you go? With the white fields that nod and the rivers that flow. And she's saying, when I move, I'll find few white fields and rivers on my way. I can see both the things on my way, but I'm still not sure. What is the end of this earth or what is the end of this world? But cities and gardens and cliff and isles. She's saying, I can even find large mountains whose sides are steep. I can even find islands. There are so many things on you. There are rivers, there are wheat fields, there are cities and gardens, there are cliffs, there are high mountain highs, there are islands. So what is your length? How far, how far are you spread? And people upon you for thousands of miles. She says there are so many people, like thousands of miles if I walk, I'll find a lot of people. If I find people on the east, in the west, in the south and in the north. So the girl is asking, what is your length? What is, how far do you spread actually? How long are you? Ah, you are so great and I am so small. Now the girl is saying to the world that if I see you, you are so huge. And if I compare myself to you, I am nothing. I am like a small dot. If I compare myself to the mountain, I will be short. If I compare myself to the river, I will be short. I am so short and so small. I tremble to think of you, world, at all. She says, when I think about the entire world, I feel tremble. Trembling means shaking with fear. She says, I am scared that you are so large. 
And yet, when I said my prayers today, now while she was saying or she was praying today, a whisper inside me seemed to say. So she automatically hears a whisper. Whisper is somebody says very slowly. She automatically hears a whisper. And what is that whisper? What is the person? What is the inner self saying in the whisper? You are more than earth, though you are such a dot. So the whispering is that you are bigger than the earth. You are more than the earth, even if you are a small dot. But your place here is bigger. Your value is bigger. Now you all must be thinking, why? How can a dot be bigger than the world or the earth? Because you can love and think, and the earth cannot. So no matter the earth is huge, the earth is big, but the earth cannot love and think. The earth do not have heart and brain. The earth cannot have good relationships. The earth is, after all, a non-living thing. And you being a living thing, you have all the, you know, uh, you can have anything that you want. You have all the pleasures in your life. The earth has got beautiful rivers, lakes, mountains, cliffs, wheat uh, fields, everything. But think about from your perspective, you are even a doubt, but you are even a dot, but still your value is more than the world. So I hope the poem is clear to you. If you have understood the video well, Please go and hit the like button and subscribe for such amazing videos. Don't forget to turn on notification for any instant update on my next video.